Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given the state transition diagram and we have been asked to find if there is any ambiguity in the diagram or not. So as you can see over here, we have a three states that is A, B and the C. And here we also have three different inputs that is X, Y and the Z. So here, since we have a three inputs, so in the each state, we should have total eight outgoing transitions. So every state diagram should follow these two rules. That means every state must specify what happens for the each possible input combination. So in this case, since we have a three inputs, so in the each state, all the eight possible outgoing transitions should be specified. And the second is in the given state for the each input value, we can have only one possible transition. That means in the specific state, for the given input, we can have only one possible transition. So suppose, as you can see over here, when x, y and z is equal to 0, then there is a transition from the A to B state. But for the same input, we cannot have another transition from the A state. So every state diagram should follow these two conditions. And if this condition is not fulfilled, so we can say that there is ambiguity in the state diagram. So here, we have been asked to find if there is any ambiguity in the given state diagram. And to find that, first of all, let us consider the A state. So as you can see, in the A state, this transition occurs when y is equal to 1. So this transition will occur when y is equal to 1 and when x and z is either 0 or 1. So in short, this transition will occur for the four different input combinations. That means whenever the y is equal to 1 and x and z is either 0 or 1. So here, the first input is the x input, but the second and the third inputs are y and z inputs. So here, for all these four input combinations, this transition will occur. Likewise, the second transition will occur when x is 0 and z is equal to 1. So during this transition, the value of the y can be either 0 or 1. So we can say that this transition will occur for the two input combinations. That is whenever the x and z are 0 and 1 and y is either 0 or 1. So now, if you see these two transitions, then one of the input is common between the two transitions. But if you closely observe, then for these two input combinations, the machine remains in the same state. So we can say that these two transitions are identical. And in fact, if you see these all five input combinations, then presently the machine is in the A state then it will remain in the same state. So apart from these two transitions, the another transition occurs when the x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0. So at that time, the value of the z can be either 0 or 1. That means here, from A to C transition will occur when x, y and z is equal to either 1, 0, 0 or 1, 0, 1. And lastly, this last transition will occur when both x, y and z is equal to 0. So at that time, we will have a transition from A to B state. So in this way, if you see, then we have total 8 outgoing transitions. And none of the transitions are identical. Or in other words, no input combination is occurring more than one times. That means all 8 outgoing transitions are well defined. So we can say that in the A state, there is a no ambiguity. So similarly, let us check this B state. So in the B state, for this y is equal to 1, once again, we will have total four different input combinations. That is when y is equal to 1 and x and z are either 0 or 1. So for these four different input combinations, the machine will remain in the same state. Apart from that, this B to A transition will occur when both y and z is equal to 0. So at that time, the value of the x can be either 0 or 1. So we can say that this transition will occur for the two different input combinations. That is when x, y, z is either 0, 0, 0 or 1, 0, 0. And likewise, this B to C transition will occur when this y is 0 and z is equal to 1. So at that time, the value of the x can be either 0 or 1. So once again, this transition will occur for the two different input combinations. That is 0, 0, 1 and the 1, 0, 1. So once again, if you notice over here, then for all the different 8 input combinations, the transitions are well defined and no input combination is appearing more than one time. So we can say that 
for the B state also there is no ambiguity. So likewise, let us check for the C state. So in the C state, when Z is equal to 0, then machine will remain in the same state. So at that time, the value of the X and Y can be either 0 or 1. So we can say that this transition will occur for the four different input combinations. Likewise, the another transition from the C state is from C to A transition. And this transition will occur when X and Z is equal to 1. So at that time, the value of the Y can be either 0 or 1. So we can say that the C to A transition will occur for the two different input combinations. That is 1, 0, 1 and the 1, 1, 1. And likewise, the C to B transition will occur when both Y and Z is equal to 1. So at that time, the value of the X can be either 0 or 1. That means once again, the C to B transition will occur for the two different input combinations. That is whenever this X, Y, Z is either 0, 1, 1 or the 1, 1, 1. Now if you notice over here, then for this input combination 1, 1, 1, we have a two outgoing transitions. That means whenever in the C state, when the X, Y, Z inputs are 1, 1, 1, then we have a C to A transition as well as the C to B transitions. But as per this rule, for each input value, we can have only one outgoing transition. So we can say that in the C state, we have a ambiguity. That means for the same input, we cannot have more than one outgoing transitions. So from this, we can say that for the given state diagram, there is an ambiguity in the C state. Or in other words, the transitions from the C state are ambiguously defined. And therefore, for the given question, this C is the correct answer.